Hello everyone, this is Reza from Redacad and today I'm going to show you how to use a dimension to filter another dimension in a star schema without needing a both directional relationship. One slicer to field uh, fields of the other slicer when they are not directly connected to each other without both directional relationship. Let's check it out. As you can see here, I have a data model built from AdventureWorks, which you can download from our website, Radicad website. Um, I have a sales table in the middle and three dimensions around date dimension, product dimension, customer dimension. This builds a star schema. If you don't know what star schema is, go and check my articles in Radicad.com uh, website. So this builds a star schema. Now I want to show you what happens if I want to uh, use two slicers for a couple of these dimensions and I want them to filter each other. Uh, so I'll bring a table first and I'll put full name from the customer table in it. I'll also make it a little bit bigger so you can see this easier. So the grid size, if you want to make the whole text size bigger, the grid text size is usually the best. Okay, so I have a table visual here. This is my table visual. Now, uh, with full name, I also put um, something like product name, English product name over there, and then the sales amount. Right, so this shows also the sales amount. So altogether, this is a table showing each product, each person, and their sales. Now I add a couple of slicer, one slicer for full name for customers. I put it in the right hand side, and one slicer for product name. That to be another slicer. Now, um, if you worked with Power BI, you know that the slicers can filter the data in the page. So for example, if I select one of these customers, it filter data for that customer only. Or if I click one of these products, it filter data for that product. And because I have selected the customer, that customer and that product. Now, the thing is that sometimes you want slicers to filter each other as well. Um, in normal scenario, they would filter each other, but the fact is that we have uh, right now a star schema scenario, which is slightly, uh, slightly different. Uh, let's say, for example, I select this customer, Aaron Butler. Aaron Butler only purchased these two products, Mountain Bottle Cage and Water Bottle. Uh, and when I select that customer, I want only the products that this customer purchased, not all products. I want this uh, slicer to be filtered by that. Um, there is an interaction setting in Power BI which you can configure one slicer to filter the other slicer. That interaction by default is on, so I don't need to do anything on that. The reason that this doesn't work right now is because of both direction, uh, single directional relationship. I want my product table to be filtered by customer table and because this direction of relationship doesn't allow that uh, so that's why this is not possible right let me bring it up so that's why it's not possible because this is a single directional relationship now you can come here and make it both directional which is not my recommendation but i'm just showing to you uh, that what would happen you can make this both directional when this becomes a both directional relationship, then you can select any of these and you will see only products that this customer purchased. However, this is not my recommendation. I have uh, written an article about what is both directional relationship, what is the direction of relationship, why it is not recommended to have both directional relationship. Go check out the link down under this video. Um, and there are lots of problems with that performance, creating circular reference and things like that. Right. So I'm not going to create both directional relationship. I'm changing that back to single directional relationship. And I'm showing you a different way of doing it. Recently in Power BI, when I say recently, I mean in the past few months, uh, one feature added which is really helpful. That feature is ability to filter a slicer on a visual level based. Uh, previously, it was not uh, possible to filter a slicer on a visual level filter, but now we have that option. So what I'll do, I'll create a new measure 
and it doesn't really matter where you create that measure and uh, basically the best measure is the measure that you want to show in that table so I'll create a new measure let's say I set this measure to be sum of the sales now this is my measure I'll just make it slightly bigger so let's say I call it mutual filter measure something like that and I say this is calculate sum sum not substitute sum of the sales amount now the way that you write this measure is um, is important because this should be a measure that returns a value per combination of those uh, slicer item that you select so this is my measure calculate sum of sales amount uh, and then I use this measure inside my slicer so I'll select the slicer one more time uh, so this is my uh, table not the table I select the slicer and I bring this into the filters on this visual and I say when it is greater than or equal to not equal to greater than zero apply filter right now this automatically filters without needing me to have both directional relationship you see I select the customer it filters that product I can also do the same thing on this slicer on the customer slicer itself I'll bring that and I say greater than zero now it depends on your measure depends on your values you might choose a different combination but this is showing you how this is possible now if I select a product it will show all customers who purchased that product if I select a customer it will show me all products that this customer purchased uh, these two slicers work perfectly with each other they filter each other they will show only sub selection of the items that uh, that uh, selected item affects on and we have only single directional relationship fully a star schema model and it works perfectly in a scenario like this so what you need to do is to create a measure which returns a value per selection of these items use that measure in the visual level uh, filter of that slicer or all the slicers that you want to do uh, if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to our channel we'll create uh, more um, videos we have a lot of videos on uh, power bi and ai and i hope you enjoy learning more about these things thanks